Hello, and welcome to the Mentor Training for the LEAD program at Utah Valley University. I'm Belinda Han, the Assistant Director of the Center for the Advancement of Leadership, and your guide as we walk through what the LEAD program is, how mentoring fits into the program, the role of the mentor and mentee, how to get started, and important resources to assist you. The LEAD program is four semesters in length, and students who complete the program earn an Engaged Learning University Distinction in Leadership, which appears on their transcripts. The acronym LEAD is used to describe the steps to achieving this leadership distinction. Learn. Each semester, students meet monthly with a mentor who helps the student develop personally and shares firsthand real-life application of leadership principles. Students also conduct three capstone interviews throughout the program. These are interviews in which students seek out persons in their field of study or who have skills the student wishes to learn more about. The students also participate in something called Reflections, a hallmark of the LEAD program. Students are given the opportunity to take a concept, principle, or idea gleaned from their various experiences, and they write a reflection on not only what they learned, but how they're going to apply this new knowledge. Engage. Students are tasked with completing 50 followership hours during each of their first two semesters. This allows students to apply the knowledge they are learning in classes, books, mentor meetings, and workshops. It also allows them time to establish networks for the leadership experiences they will complete during their third and fourth semesters. During a student's third and fourth semester in the program, they are tasked with finding a leadership experience in which they take an active leadership role. These students also complete 50 hours of experience during each of their third and fourth semesters. Acquire. Students complete six hours of theory each semester. This entails attending our departmental lecture series called Mastermind, as well as reading leadership-based books and attending leadership-focused workshops and trainings. LEAD program students also complete one leadership-focused course each semester. And discover. LEAD students are given the opportunity to ask for and receive feedback regarding their leadership skills in a safe and constructive environment. This is done through a 360-degree evaluation. Students create an action plan using this evaluation and have the opportunity to reflect each month on their progress through a journal. We encourage you, as mentors, to ask them about their 360-degree action plan and how you can help them complete goals they have made. The Center for the Advancement of Leadership believes the mentoring relationship should benefit both the mentor and mentee through reciprocity, learning, building of a positive relationship, creating a partnership, collaboration, mutually defined goals, and personal development. This model replaces the sage-on-the-stage mentality with one of placing the mentee in the driver's seat. For more information regarding this model, please refer to the article at the end of your handbook entitled Mentee in the Driver's Seat. At this point, you might be saying to yourself, Okay, this sounds great, but what is expected at mentor meetings? And what do mentor meetings look like? Well, to fill the requirements for the engaged learning distinction, students must meet with their mentor during the months of September, October, November, January, February, and March. And each meeting must last for at least an hour. At these meetings, mentees are expected to discuss personal development topics with a leadership emphasis. Many mentors send their mentee home with an assignment regarding the topics being discussed. 
Then the mentee is expected to return to the next mentor meeting with the assignment completed. A list of suggested topics can be found in your mentor handbook. The first mentor meeting is the hardest. Here are a few recommendations. Get to know each other. Discuss topics for future mentor meetings. Discuss what each of you expect this relationship to look like. Set goals for the year. Exchange contact information. And decide what to do if one or the other cannot make it to an established meeting. Set up a time, date, place, and topic for your next meeting. Decide what you both want to have prepared for your next meeting. There is a helpful mentee quick reference form in your handbook that can be printed out and brought to your first mentor meeting where you can jot down the answers to the questions just listed. Meet your mentor event. Instead of meeting alone for the first meeting, we invite you to attend the Meet Your Mentor event. This event will be held during the first week of September in the evening at UVU. Light refreshments will be provided, time will be given to you to have your first meeting with your mentee, and the staff from the Center for the Advancement of Leadership will be available to answer any questions you might have. Please refer to the section of your handbook labeled Important Dates for more information regarding this event. Location can be the success or failure of a meeting. We recommend always meeting in a public place such as your place of employment, on campus at UVU, at a restaurant, at the library, or in your home when other members of your family are home. Ending Celebration any good relationship has celebrations. Each year in April, we hold a formal dinner and awards presentation. The focus of this celebration is on the mentee, as they receive different awards and certifications. However, we also take a minute to recognize our mentors. We invite you and encourage you to attend this celebration with your mentee. Specific date, time, and location can be found in your mentor handbook in the section labeled Important Dates. There are a few things I want to remind you of. First of all, your handbook can be very helpful. In there you'll find important dates, suggested mentoring topics, frequently asked questions, the mentee quick reference sheet, as well as the article, Ben T. in the driver's seat. We recommend you read through the handbook and contact us with any questions. Our mentor support team is always here to assist you. Please feel free to contact us. This information can also be found in your handbook. As the Center for the Advancement of Leadership, we congratulate you on making the decision to mentor a college student. And we thank you for taking one hour a month to change a life. Have a great year and we'll see you at Meet Your Mentor.